Well, Baltimore County officials voted tonight to repeal an existing county ban on stun guns. It's all in response to a federal lawsuit filed by some Baltimore area residents challenging the ban in Baltimore and Howard and Baltimore counties. ABC 2's Nadia Singh was at that meeting and has more on how this affects you tonight. Nadia? Kelly, the unanimous vote makes it again legal to carry and use a taser or stun gun. Lawmakers say they weren't about to go against a Supreme Court ruling. There are certain criteria that need to be met before one can obtain one of those stun guns or tasers. But officials and residents both think the repeal is beneficial. They're not as dangerous as guns. They're even a different class of weapon. And now your right to carry them in Baltimore County is protected under the Second Amendment. Basically, we had a ban and someone sued. And uh, so now, since they won in the Supreme Court, all jurisdictions are removing the bans. The Supreme Court ruled to extend that Second Amendment to include stun guns and tasers. It would allow citizens to buy it and possess it and if they need to use it, they can use it. Residents we spoke to seem to think the county's decision to repeal the ban is a step in the right direction. I think everybody should have whatever means they need to feel comfortable and safe walking around the streets. But what about the flip side, the possibility of having tasers and stun guns held by more people? There are always going to be people that use things in a bad way, you know, but, you know, it's still I think for the better for the people that feel comfortable with it. The county banned tasers back in 2009, but county leaders are confident their decision was best for everyone. That, that sounds like a good idea to me as an alternative to handguns. I mean, I think it's a safer way for people to um, defend themselves without causing a lot of unintended consequences. Now, Howard County lifted the ban in February, and Arundel County was the first to lift the ban on tasers and stun guns, doing so back in 2013.